Hi guys, I uh, just wanted to do a a quick video um, to share some of the latest journals that I've made and that will be available in my Etsy shop um, once this video goes live. The They have the same theme, um, nature theme, they all have um, birds on the front and actually the birds are um, from a puzzle that I've then obviously made up and then I've just basically taken the section of each bird um, and put it on the front of the journal um, and it also it will have the bird and the name of the bird each journal also will have the same label on the front or the same um, label holder on the front I haven't put anything in the um, space there the title I've left that for whoever buys the or owns the journal um, to put their own title in. It has a Tim Holtz hitch post fastening and it has vintage buttons on the spine and I have done five signatures with sewn in with a pamphlet stitch. The journal measures eight and a half by um, six inches and the spine I think is two inches. So I'll just show you um, something some of the inside. Now they are all going to be very similar, so you would literally, they will be listed on Etsy with, with um, the four different journals that I have, and then you just need to click on the drop down to choose the one that you want. But they'll all have similar in, and most of the papers are tea dyed, there's a few that aren't, but mostly they are. They'll have a selection of grid paper, graph paper, ledger paper, um, lined paper, just plain copy paper, all sorts of things. Now. There'll be a pocket, I think there's a pocket on the front of each of them as well. Each of the signatures um, has decorative paper on the, outer, on the outside of the signature. And then, as you can see here, it's all different papers. There's pockets, there'll be vintage ephemera with it. That actually happens to have a doily imprint on it, pocket there. Um, all sorts of different, different colours, different dark different thickness different um dark light light they go actually from probably from very light to quite dark in some of them um but it's mostly kind of middle of the road i would say it's like uh, that's lined paper and there's a pocket there and then it says all light and all different colors so there's some grid there's another pocket um and then again more pockets so some have darker pieces but it, there's not much that's a lot darker um, again that's quite light so there we go and there's another that's a cig vintage cigarette oh, cigarette card tea card brook bond tea card this one has an envelope in the middle they don't all have that um, it really um, does vary then uh, more tags um, cards so again just a lovely selection this has so there's a little tuck there um, another tuck there with a vintage uh, book on tea card and then they also do have some of them have some music sheets in there's some ledger paper um, grid paper more ledger paper so a lovely selection another pocket there and that's a, uh, another pocket. So, as I say, they all will vary um, slightly inside, but with the same five signatures. And I think each, each signature has eight pieces of paper, so obviously doubled over. That's including the outer piece. Um, so, that's the goldfinch. Then we've got the nut hatch. Um, next one is the robin. The next one is the lapwing. And as I say, they're all similar um, buttons on the spine, all vintage buttons. There's two of these journals are not inked edges on the cover, and two are, but you'll see that in, in the pictures when, I, um, when you choose which one you want. Um, and then you'll also receive a selection of ephemera and uh, tea dyed pieces. So first of all, you get one pack of these gift cards um, and there's eight of those 
in the pack all different so well so they're all different and they're really cute they're really um nice just to use as tuck spots or um you can fold them up what i have done is if you can see here i make them often into little mini books so literally just cut up some tea dyed paper um and then this is attached with a staple but i have so you can sew them sew them in as well which i have done but so that's those you'll also receive a made up book in each one each one will receive a doily and then it'll be a, an assortment basically of papers so it could be um and it will be tags um vintage no uh gift cards again sorry let me have those and then something and then um little tags i've used the puzzle piece there and here we've used the i've used the puzzles as a a tuck um to put the ephemera in and then there will also be included um some ephemera book pages and in each one and then some dictionary pages in each one there is um envelope from parchment and then another gift card and some parts of music sheets um so as i say they will be listed in my etsy store um, as soon as this video goes live um i'm thinking that um i'm ho or i'm hoping sorry i'm not thinking i'm hoping to be able to do a process video pretty soon i've just had an awful lot going on hopefully i know it's been ages since i've done one and i've really missed doing one so i'm hoping soon to be able to get a couple of process videos up i've got a couple of ideas of what i want to do and um some <laughs> maybe some different tutorials on a different type of a journal i'm doing at the moment i'm i'm not sure about that i'm hoping that i will get it up soon so as i say the labels as well i haven't actually put the title in it so that you can put your own title in it so i'm hoping that um you'll like these journals i just thought they were really fun and the puzzle pieces so once you've made a puzzle up what do you do with it and these just really lend them lent themselves to um, going on a journal. I've also got some that are bigger sections, which I will be making another couple of bigger journals. And I'm hoping I can do a process video of one of those. Um, and yeah, I hope you've liked this video. If you have, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, if you could subscribe, that would be absolutely fantastic. Thank you.